Okay guys, I have a very important information to share today. In this video, I'm going to reveal one of the most important informations for those who feed mealworms to their exotic pets. So make sure you take a good note of this or else you could lose your favorite pets due to your serious health conditions. So if you are a breeder or own a lot of reptiles, you probably order in bulk when you order mealworms from your suppliers. When you guys get the box from your insect suppliers, make sure you have the label face the top, upward, all the time so you can prevent from all a lot of insects, fresh and scales. It's a total mess. When you unbox it from the wrong directions, and these small particles could spread everywhere, literally everywhere. When these particles are exposed and inhaled, they can stimulate an allergic response in some people. So I highly recommend wearing gloves and mask while you're doing this. The allergic reaction hits when you ignore it for a long time, and it could lead to a serious asthma or an anaphylactic shock. So make sure you make smart moves while unboxing boxes that contain insects. Also, if you're a smoker, this symptoms may be a slightly greater risk of becoming sensitized, so reduce or quit smoking if you want to lower the chance of these allergic reactions. Some of the symptoms of these allergic reactions, it could affect the eyes, nose, lungs, skin, so be sure to wear gloves and make and mask all the time when you're handling mask of modern mealworms and also ventilate the air all the time when you're opening these box. If you're inside the house or building, be sure to open windows so all the particles are not trapped inside the house. For some reason, if you think you're developing an allergy, I highly recommend that you seek advice from a medical professional immediately so that appropriate risk assessments can be performed. Early assessment of the problem may mean that specific advice can be given on how to further reduce or avoid exposure to prevent allergic problems from progressing, but if you're ignoring all these guides, you may end up not able to see your exotic pets that eats millions anymore. It's sad to say and hear, but I sometimes see some people ignore these big issues and end up they lose their favorite pets due to their lack of awareness. My recommendation would be when you're unboxing these boxes, have it in a place where it's well ventilated area like outside of your house, on the open garage, or right next to windows. I wish all of you guys maintain the hobby in the healthiest conditions and mainly your health is more important than anything if you want to live healthy and happy with your passion with your hobby. So share this to your friends if they breed reptiles and feel free to ask me any questions out in the comment. I would love to hear and see your thoughts on this. I generally don't want to see you guys lose what you guys like and not being able to breed reptiles anymore. Breeding a reptile is a life for me too. So starting today, act smart and be more happy and healthy than ever before. Thank you for watching my video and if you haven't subscribed or liked my video, go do that right now and I'll see you guys later. King is out. Get go.